Oh, there are some questions coming in my desk every day. How to start a Node.js? So if you want to start your Node.js, that's not a problem. All you have to go to is go to the Node.js website. And of course, you click the link right here. As you can see, you have different types of operating systems where you want to deploy your Node.js. You have here the Mac OS and then, of course, the Linux and the Windows. But we will choose our Windows now to quench your thirst. We have here the 32-bit, 64-bit. Mine is the 64-bit. Now, after you are click and first install your Node.js, it's a time that you extract your Node.js in your current folder. So all you have to do is to check first your CMD command right here, or what we call the command line interpreter. So we have here the, the Node.js folder. Oh, I'm sorry. Let us check that. So this is the command line interpreter of your uh, Windows. Now, if you want to check the chase directory, mine is the Node.js. This is the folder where I deployed my Node.js. And I have here the following files. So what will happen is, of course, let us check uh, the Node.js uh, uh, information. So by typing the help command, we can check that, of course, we have here the following Node.js uh, information. So these are the examples of your Node.js, uh, you know, um, commands, in, all right? Node.js internal commands, all right? Now, but before learning the Node.js, well, of course, you need to study first how the, your JavaScript works, and that's very important. Node.js is part of your JavaScript framework wherein you can use different types of applications, program interface to run your server, to run your uh, request. That is the Node.js. For example, we need to run our Node program here. So this is the Node.js prompt. So from here, we can check our code. We can run our code x equals to 10. So this is the code right there at the top. So it's just like we can say console.log. Okay, console.log. And then we have here, of course, value of x is and plus, plus, plus. Okay, now uh, I have my uh, JavaScript tutorial in my uh, JavaScript playlist in my YouTube channel. So you can watch some of it so that you can learn how to use the Node.js program. The JavaScript is an uh, imperative case, imperative uh, topic if you want to learn the Node.js. So you can write even your function. So deep, then you can say, Okay, console.log, oops, let us repeat that. Console, I don't know what happened to my screen. Oh. Console, okay, we'll repeat that. Console.log, then say hello world. Okay, this is how you write it, similar to your JavaScript program. And then we have here the function dip. If I say dip right here, okay, that is hello world. See, this is similar to your JavaScript program, except that force. Um, Node.js has a bunch of libraries and APIs where you can uh, create uh, different types of applications for desktop, for mobile, and of course to the cloud uh, application. Now, if you want to exit here, what you have to do is to press Ctrl+C twice, and then there you have it. And then you press you enter exit so that you can back to your window. Now, our target here is to write a program for the Node.js wherein we will run our own server using the 127.0.0.1 at the same time that's equivalent to the local host. And then we will call a program, okay, creating our own, fabricating our own server. That's beautiful, right? Wherein we can run our own hypertext markup language. Okay, how to do that? Let us call our editor. So from here, we will uh, create our own code. And at the same time, uh, we'll be using the hypertext markup language. Wherein we will run our localhost, okay? That's equivalent to 1 to 7, okay? 1 to 7, uh, that's 0, that's 0, that's 0, that 1. Okay, that's it. And at the same time, will of course, our target is to create our port address, create our own port, okay? Of course, you need to run your sum. That is your app, XML Apache, MySQL PHP, okay? So that we can run the program. So we can choose different types of port address. We can use the 8080, or we can use 900, or we can use 1000, okay? So that's, okay. that's, that's, that's an option. Now let us uh, start our program right here. Our first program is to start with the Node.js. And of course, I just want to reiterate this before starting the Node.js, you need to learn first the JavaScript. So let's say var, okay? And then we have HTTP equals to, so this is where we have to follow it. HTTP is part of the dependency. In our next topic, we will create our own program, how to use our require statement. You can, this is equivalent to import command that require HTTP. This is part really of the Node.js code or Node.js application, or Node.js packages, packages, or in Java, we call it a built-in class. Okay, so we have to use the HTTP, HTTP, and of course the method is of course create, I'm sorry, create, uh, create server. Okay, 
plate server and then if you're not uh, familiar with this now we're writing the function you can check my javascript uh, uh, functions writing uh, constructions and constructors in a factory functions so from there you will understand how to write your function so we have here the rest and rest so the purpose of this is to request and to uh, response in the request okay rest so this is the response and then we have here the right head okay what's the purpose of right head this is where we check the connectivity of the server so 200 is to check of course the connections of the server okay and at the same time uh, we have here of course the content for that's so what's the content so we're going to use that of course this is the content type and then content and then type so we have the type right here so we can put here for the plain txt file or the text html we can use the text html right here so this is the content type of the group okay we're gonna put here the semicolon for that so after that what will happen i think i'm gonna change this to but uh, this is not php but of course this is <laughs> part of the javascript program so i will change this to javascript program okay javascript program sorry Okay, we have now the color for the methods and color for the functions. So after that, what will happen is, of course, this is to uh, use the response method. And then we will uh, type here, of course, let's say we have here, hello world. Okay, that's it. So after that, well, uh, we will check right here. Okay, this, this is a callback function. Part of the function is to use this program. So we have to... Put the period right here the same time well that's the end statement that's correct and then uh what happened is of course that's uh uh well of course this is the uh no no we have to use of course the port right here then listen to port address let's say i will, I will be using the address of 800 or 900 let's just check that all right so this is it this is not the code for that so let us check and run this program okay we have the code for this uh, uh, Node.js program. The purpose of this is to request um, the server, okay, using our local bus. Same time, we are using the 200. This is to check the connectivity if uh, the, our, our, our request is granted. If this is not granted, of course, it is produced, but the four of our error, our server is not found. And same time, we test this simple hello world ops again. We need to rectify this. And then we choose 900 as part of our of our port address okay we will save this and then uh, save this again to sa1 okay if you want if you want to run this well we need to go to our empty program okay and then let us change the directory sorry <laughs> and then go to node.js directory this is the example for that now let us check okay uh, let us check our code of course now let us check first our program right here so this is se1.js okay so what will happen if you have the se1.js i think this is the se1.js that we used last time i renamed this to se1.js okay let us test the code now se1.js so this is now waiting for our program in our uh, browser let us check our browser okay and run it here all right just check it okay localhost and then we put here of course 900 so we have here the hello world now if you uh if you inspect the code now this is quite simple we just use the http module right here and we create a request by means of the synchronous function request and response so the response is to write using the 200 and the type is text demo and then we channel and we fuse hello world so that this hello world will run under what the local loss using the 900 port now what if we will create a program and at the same time run our own micro program that will run in our uh node.js server how to do that okay let us check the website here as you can see we have here first uh, examples of our node.js application and i don't want to uh, write this code anymore just to give you an idea how to uh, to apply this so the first step is of course now uh, we need to create our own file server and the second step is of course we need to create our index hypertext markup language to this index files the purpose of this is we create a port address and uh, we run this program in our port address using the 8081 
So if the request is not quite good, we have to display the data for all four videos in the server is not found. Otherwise, well, of course, it will create uh, this response, the 200, wherein, well, of course, check the status and, of course, the, the server connectivity to run our program. So where is that program? So this is the data that we use in our request at the top. So this is the error, this is the data, where this is can create a parameter to read, of course, the first, uh, the index point, hypertext map problem. So we were not creating this index point statement, but we're creating our own program. Okay. Yeah, we're creating our program. Same thing, but it is it is not uh, index point statement. Uh, now we will copy this code. Okay. All right. We'll copy this code. Okay. And then Control C, create our own what uh, program right here. Okay. We'll create our program right here. File. Oops. This is not. The right one will be the program right here file you and then we will use our uh, syntax for uh, javascript of course this is javascript okay we we'll paste the code right here so we have three dependencies right here on or in java programming these are the classes built-in classes we have the file we have the url to check of course the url of local or of course the internal external um, uh, resource locator our uh, resource uh, in what you call this address of our uh, of our program so from here we parse of course the request under your path name of course we use in the local host there at the same time we can check of course the name of the file name and if a file name has an error it will display the 404 otherwise it will display of course the content of the data and then the fetching information from the data and then this will be what you call this uh, channel to 81, 80, 81. This is where we run our server. So when we save this file, okay, save us. I will save this to, uh, let's say, uh, test one. Okay, okay, that is test one. Now, after that, what happened is we create our own HTML program. Okay, let's say view, and then we have here syntax, the same time in the HTML. So let us start our code right here. So this is one, and, and uh, this is how you write your first uh, uh, program for your Node.js application. Okay, we have here the head. Okay, and then running the first widget stml up in Node.js server. Okay, then we have here the head. And start with the body and form. I don't want to put, uh, you know, uh, any ornamental um, statements here. Our target is just to run the Node.js uh, program. At the same time, how to host a program using the hypertext markup language, creating our own ports in Node.js. So this is where we enter location, then we have the BR. Then, oops, this is wrong. We have the BR right here, then input. Type course two text for the location. Then BR. Remember, you can once you understand how to work with the Node.js, but before uh, jumping really to the core of Node.js, you need first to learn the script in JavaScript. You can check my uh, uh, JavaScript tutorial if you want to learn about JavaScript. Good. So this is where you enter your, uh, say, gender. No, no, no. Uh, east. East. Okay. So input type equals to checkbox. Where? Then we have, oops, we have to put here value. Yes. Okay. So we are. And, uh, input type calls to submit okay Node.js is not a library but a framework from JavaScript okay now let us finish the program okay let us save this and then save us I will save this look as a loop file for location. Now let us check our code and then run the program. Let us check it right here. So here, CD, 
cd node.js okay let us run the code first let us run the code one what is the file name that is test.js okay so node test one point the purpose of test.js is number one is to check of course the url of the file number two is uh, will of course uh, to check of course the file the existing of the uh, the, exist, uh, uh, the presence of the file name and uh, this is to check also the request coming from our end we're in uh, if the request is not good well of course it will display for off work uh, others wonder was it will what uh, this, uh, display the data so the one that means of course our our, our server is being granted by by, 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 the, by the system so no gs point gs so it is running now here 881 let us check if this is correct okay we'll go right here all okay. right then display the local host and then check the port of 881 now what will happen if we display this so this local node space can be found so this is error for all or where's that error that error is somewhere right here okay let us check that so this is right here so this is the error for all four now because we were not able to specify the file name of that web page so what if we put here slash and then we put the program so the name of the program is loop point stem f okay i don't look point stem sorry that is not loop but loop point stem f so we have here the loop which is the so you just find the location east and then of course this is not a value <laughs> I will check it again. This is not the value. This is wrong. Okay. Look. Submit is submit, right? So, do you have it? We are running our program. Okay. Using the Node.js. Creating our server. Okay. So, this is the output. So, let us recap what happened to our to this uh, lesson. Number one is we installed the Node.js. Okay. So, first thing first is course how to run the node.js number one is install node.js okay well of course is write a node yes program to create server okay or you need to page your four address number three is sync the node Yes, program to stml file. So we have three steps right here. Install Node.js, write a Node.js program to get this report, sync the Node.js program to stml file. Okay, so if you have any questions, please uh, don't forget to pick me up. And at the same time, of course, please don't um, forget to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching.